In this video, you will learn how to use a pH meter. pH meters can be small and handheld or larger stationary pH meters. In this video, we will be using a stationary pH meter. The parts of a pH meter include the meter, the arm, and the electrode. The arm allows the electrode to be easily moved up and down into a beaker with a sample to be tested. Prior to use, a pH meter should be calibrated using color-coded buffers of fixed pH. pH 4, 7, and 10 are standard. The first step in using a pH meter is to remove the protective cap from the electrode. The electrodes of the pH meter need to be stored properly, capped, and immersed in a storage solution to prevent them from drying out. Next, the electrode must be rinsed using distilled water. Various pH meters will have different procedures for calibration. To calibrate your pH meter, you will need to review the owner's manual for the proper procedure. Begin the process of calibration using the standard with a pH of 7. Once the standard has been calibrated, you will need to remove the sample and rinse the electrode with distilled water. Repeat the process again, this time using the standard with a pH of 4. Once the standard has been calibrated, you will need to remove the sample and again rinse the electrode with distilled water. You will then calibrate the final standard with a pH of 10. When the pH 10 standard has been calibrated, rinse off the electrode with distilled water. pH meters must be calibrated each time to ensure the accuracy of measurements. Using the three different pH standards for calibration provides for a wide range of accuracy. You are now ready to measure the pH of an unknown solution. Place the unknown solution beneath the electrode and slowly lower the arm so that the electrode is fully submerged in the solution. This sample has a pH of 5.57 at a temperature of 23.9 degrees Celsius. Once the reading is complete, remove your sample. Once again, rinse the electrode with distilled water. If this is your final sample, replace the protective electrode cap for storage.